Welcome back to MED and today we're looking at the NXG limited slip differential. Okay, here's one that's been ordered by a customer. It's a Sprite NXG but same difference. Uh, we're just going to take it apart just to change some internals on it. There's three screws, one, two, three, hold the top hat onto the main body and if you don't pre-tension those, you're trying to undo the screws against the tension of the diff. So just pop it in the vise, nip it up and then break the screws off like so. What size are they? 5mm AF Allen key. Okay. So we'll put that in there. And... Oh, one. So this is for a midget or a sprite. That's right. But it's very similar design to the exactly mini version. Exactly the same, just the external dimensions are slightly different. Okay. Cranwell and pinion. So we've got the screw out there. There's the first one. And this is a 3090, what's called a 3090 on the ramp angles? That's the ramp angles on the actual central block, which we'll go through in a moment. Okay. So now I've got the screws out, we're going to release this, and if you look just here now, you will see how the pressure of the Belleville washer internally springs the diff apart. There you go, look. Oh, yeah. Can you see it coming apart? Yeah. Now, if you hadn't have took those screws out prior, you'd be fighting against the preload. So it's a good so, tip, just a bit of cardboard in your... Yeah, in just to stop any damage. So or some uh, soft... Grips. Soft jaws. Soft yep. jaws, yeah. Okay. This is a set of clutch plates. This is what we're going to replace internally in there. Okay. Because that's preset at 65, the customer wants 90. Yeah. So this will give us 90 once we replace. So, top hat section. Mm -hmm. This is where the bearing sits, so top hat. Okay, now what you'll get is the complete assembly will come out. There we go. So we'll put that back over there. So, firstly you'll see the Belleville washer. What it is, it's, it, it's like a flat washer, but yep. it's got a dome in it, and that's what gives you the preload. It's basically a spring. Yeah, I was going to say it looks like one of the clutch diaphragms. Clutch diaphragm spring, very much the same. But Does the same job. Smaller. So, remember, that's the first part. What's the preload on this one? This one would have been 65 to start with. We're going to increase it to 90. So you'll end up with, oh, as you see, the beautifully built. That one's got. And these are the bits the friction faces wear these out These are all the these. friction plates that wear out. So okay. you've got one, two. You don't have that part on a mini. Okay. That's the extra part in. It's a slightly different design. So you've got that one. How long do you think you could get out of one of these plate packs? Again, very hard to say because obviously it depends on how much wheel spin you get. Yeah. But uh, normally they'll, they'll go through a season, take them apart and replace which parts they need replacing. Just check it after a year? Yes. I mean, some people go for three or four seasons even without... You really do need to check it. It's like anything on a race engine. It needs to be checked. And this one then now is your ramp lock. Okay. Yeah, so can you explain to us again with the 3090? That's not a percentage, is it? It's the angle. It's the angle, it's not the percentage. So, if you look at that one, here, here's your 30 degree, mm -hmm. and this is your 90 degree. Okay. So, what actually happens on acceleration, this runs up here, yeah. and tightens onto the clutch plate pack, which locks the diff. Okay. So that's, that's basically when you put your foot down, that... Once the wheel spins, this actually whole assembly rides up there yep. and locks the plates. If you look now at... There's your 3090. 30 degrees here. Mm -hmm. Move around one. This one's 4590. Right. So, if you wanted to and you bought a diff from us, and you wanted it slightly less aggressive on the acceleration ramp, yep. you could take it apart, and you could take this assembly out, literally lift it up, and put it around Now there. you've got a less aggressive diff. So the shallower that angle is, the more, the more lock it is. it's gonna have. Yes, because got it rides up quicker. Yeah. Yes. So if you wanted to play around with that and go even more, can you, can you get a different setup for that? They do do 101 different ones, but really, 3090 for an out and out circuit car. Yep. If you find it's a little bit too aggressive for you, pop the diff out, swap it round, put the 4090 right. in. Okay, so you've got a rally car that occasionally you use on 30, the road. 3090. Oh, right. Sorry, 4090 yeah, in a yeah. rally car. Got it. But then, obviously, you've got the option then of, which is what we're doing to this one, is changing the plate pack. 
because the spring compresses all of these plates. Yeah. And if you put a different thickness plate in, you take the tension off the Belleville washer. So what you'll see here is, if you look, there's three different thickness, sorry, two different thicknesses. Got it. Two on the left are 1.5 mil, one on the right is 2.5 mil. Yep. So with those in, this would be 65 foot-pound torque preset. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put slightly thicker ones in for the customer, yep. which will bring it up to 90, 95. Right, okay. So you can tweak the setup you can in two tweak different it ways. You all around, yes. Uh, many different options, different ramp blocks, different configurations of clutch plates, yep. and different thicknesses of clutch plates to get the desired. But you, you could play to, you know, till Christmas. Got it. So what's the advantage of using one of these over a... What, cross bin or, or like an ATB? Well, design. an ATB is not really an LSD. An ATB is what they call an automatic torque biasing differential. And it works through gear reduction as opposed to clutch plates. A cross pin is basically a glorified standard differential. In a standard diff with yep. no clutch plates, the cross pin has two pins, that's why it's called a cross pin, yep. and four gears. So if you're allowed to use one of these in your race car, this is the way to go. This is the way to go in a race motor, yes, definitely. Stops the wheel spin and increases the uh, the drive. Looks complicated, but you reckon it's not too bad to, to take apart and rebuild? If you can rebuild an engine, you can rebuild one of these. But what you must do is take your time and make sure it is scrupulously clean because any piece of dirt that goes between these clutch plates will score the clutch plate as you build it and then you'll get a false reading when you talk the diff to check it got it okay on the reassembly just quickly again as we showed you how to disassemble it you must do, put it back together so as you've got it all back together you'll find you'll have a gap just there like so put it in the vice compress it in the vice put the screws in and then tighten it up otherwise if you do it up and you've got it on the twist like that you'll put pressure on the cross shaft and you can break them.